In today's session, we'll talk about centroid. Centroid is defined, as you can see in the document here, there are some definitions for the centroid. It is a point at which the uh, shape will balance. And if we take, for example, um, a rectangle like that, uh, the, sh the, the intersection will be, as you can see, the red circle for squares like that and for right angle triangle like that and for a circle. These are shapes where the centroid are known to us. And the centroid is the location where the object balances, just in general. Now you might ask why would we learn about centroid? We'll learn about centroid to be able to calculate something called moment of inertia. And why would you learn about moment of inertia? Is because moment of inertia is is a defining factor in the strength of a section. When we design a section, be it a beam or column, that will be a defining characteristic. So moving on, we'll take some samples or examples of calculating centroid. So if we take an L-shaped, like, th like this one. Uh, this L-shape, uh, we can't define or we can locate the centroid immediately, so we have to break down the shape into two parts that we know their centroid. And this could be two rectangles. So uh, this will be one, um, and this will be the second. Or you can take this to be one, and this will be the other one. So we'll do. We'll do the this to be the first. Let's see what our document says, because you already have this document. So I suggest that we break this down to this rectangle and this rectangle. So we'll do that. And for the definition or calculation of the location of of the, because each point is defined by two. If we are talking about two two dimension two D, then we have an X and Y for this. So there's an X and Y to define a centroid. And the equation for X is this, and the equation for Y is this. And we call X, X bar. This is called X bar, and this is called Y bar. And is equal to sum of all areas multiplied by, sorry, sum of all X's x distances multiplied by area divide by sum of all areas that's for x and for y it is equal to sum of all y's multiplied by area divide by sum of all areas that is called y bar so moving on, we'll, we'll implement these in an example to to understand them. And as you see, the factors in this equation are the x distances and area, or y distances and area. So there's a template which you can find in your documents, and here is the template. So it's composed of the component because this will be a component and this will be the other component. So we have two components here components and then area of each one of them the x distance from a reference point and the this is the multiplication because the equation has a multiplication of x by area the y distance and then the multiplication of y by area so we'll use this template in our calculation so we'll do this example so here's the example and we'll give a measurement to it so we have two inches in this direction and it is eight here and we have two inches here and six inches here the question is, calculate the location of the centroid of the entire thing with reference to this reference point. It's called reference point. Reference point is defined normally uh, by the question itself. So this is y and this is x. So we, and the question it will be, defined the location of reference point. So as you see, we will break this down into this, this component and this component, two components. So I'll put them in the template and we'll start to work out the numbers because that's all you need to do is to work out the numbers. So here's the, the first one. 
first component. So if you look at this, you draw of course the the x and y for this, and the shape is here. So if you look at the template, it says the area. Where is the area? What's the area? The area is this part is two inches. And this part is six inches, so you see two by six inches. Now the x location. This is the most important thing. The x and y. These are the two important things that you need to pay attention because even in the test, this will bear the the mark. The rubric will be focused on this and this, and these calculations are simple calculations which we are not credited anyway. So the x distance is the distance from the centroid of the component to the reference point. So the this will be the, the distance between this and this. So the distance is between these two, which is the two inches divided by two. It is in the middle. So this is why it is two inches divided by one. Two is equal to one. Now the multiplication of this and this is your business and you can do this with calculation. The y distance is the distance between the centroid of the object and the reference point. And if you look at here these two yellow lines, if you break them down, you will have this part, have this, which is 6 divided by 2, and then you add the distance from here to here, which is 2, so that's what it is, 6 divided by 2, plus 2. And once you get the value, which is 5, then multiply this by this, you get this. So it's as simple as this. So just to demonstrate the a simple shape and how you break this down. Now the second component which is this one again with reference to the reference point which is the y and x. The location of centroid is in the middle as we know this is a known shape. We know this the the centroid will be half of the distance from here to here and half of the distance from here to here. This is a simple shape which we know the location of the centroid. Uh, the area again is equal to 2 multiplied by 6, straightforward. Now the x distance, this is the x distance. The x distance is from here to here, which is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Now the y distance, of course this is a multiplication. The y distance is the location distance between this and this. And this is obviously, this is 2 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Now, rest of these are the numbers. So, if you go back to to the calculation part, you will see will apply will implement this equation, which is sum of all x's multiplied by a, divided by sum of all areas. So, sum of all x divided by. Let me just make this a bit small to be able to see. So here, so sum of all x divided by multiplied by a is this, which is this one. 48 divided by sum of all areas. This is the area and the sum of all of areas. So straightforward says 48 divided by 24 and the answer is 2. For y part the equation is sum of all y multiplied by a divided by sum of all areas. So sum of all area multiplied by a is this. So this is the He will do another example, which is more realistic. In this case, we have a compound section. This is a compound section. And it is composed of this a plate, which is half an inch by 14, and this shape, which is an eye beam. So again, if we apply the same template and break this down into this component and this component, two components, Let's see how it will work in this template. So there is a template. For the first component, which is this one, is a straightforward plate, which is half an inch, <laughs> half an inch by 14 inch. So if you look at the area, it will be half an inch multiplied by 14 inch. Now what is the x distance? And this is reference point, of course, intersection here. And as you can see, it is passes through the centroid. So the centroid of the plate is this, and the centroid of the uh, intersection 
our reference point is this. So you see there is no x distance. This is why it is equal to 0. And this is important. Now, of course, you multiply area by x, get 0. Now, the y distance, again, is from the centroid of the plate, which is this, to the location of the reference point. And this is, so you need to figure this distance out yourself. Now, we need to understand that the this section has its own properties and it is found in a table and this table will be provided so if you look at this table which is sorry so we're looking for a section the section is w12 by as given the question the section is w12 by 87 so we need to look for this this section to be able to know what is this distance what is this distance what is this distance because i will need this distance because the question is here for me is to find the distance from this point to this point and to be able to do this distance i need to have half of the distance here half of the distance between this and this which is obvious it is half an inch half divided by half is a quarter but I will need also this distance from here to here so I, this distance is the depth of this section so I need to the, find that out from the tables so I'll go to the tables I'll look for W12 by 87 so W12 is this and 87 is this so all the properties so I need to understand what are these what do these mean this is the area this is the depth this is BF and this is TF so all of these are so we need to get to the properties of the section to be able to tell what is this distance from here to here so if you look at the table here, we have W12. This is 12. And the other component is 87. So this is the 87 part. So you see the depth here is 12.53 and so on and so forth. So you need to uh, take a good look at the the details of a section so in a case like this you need to define any this uh, this distance is called thickness of the web sorry thickness of the flange this is called thickness of the web the distance from here to here is called the depth which we need in this case and so on and so forth so and the centroid of this section will be at this point so it will be at a distance of y is equal d by 2 and for x it is this, if this is the x and y that is sitting at the 0 so just to keep that in mind so back to our document so you see here to define the the y because I need to find the distance we said between this point and this point and that is defined by half of the distance this distance plus the depth and that is what this calculation is it is the depth plus half of the distance is equal to 12 points in. and then of course this is just calculations sorry this is for the, yeah so it's just calculation now for the for this component of course the area is given if you look at the table you'll see the the area given in the table as 25 here 25 and so it is just you record this here the x distance this being the, the centroid being in this point so it coincides with the same intersection of x and y here so it is equal to zero of course the multiplication is equal to zero 
Now the y, the y distance is the distance between the centroid of the component and the intersection, which is the depth divided by 2. And once you get the value, just do the multiplication and get this number. And again, go back to the equation. So to implement the x bar equation, which we have the sum of all areas multiplied by x, sum of all areas multiplied by x, which is 0. Put it here. And of course the answer is 0. And for y bar is the sum of all this, multiplied by sum of all area. And this comes to 7.66. So it's meaning it means it's somewhere around here. That is the answer for this example. Of course you can do more complex examples like this ones, And I recommend that you try this and go through the, the steps. This is already solved. So all you need is to make an understanding of broken down also for all the distances. You need to go to the tables and break down the distances for each item. And you use the same template as shown in this document.